The mayor is building streets all over the city, but a project between Rotary, Belize, Rotary Club of Belize and Restore Belize is intended to rejuvenate the south side with playgrounds and libraries. The project will also include the funding of literacy programs for youths. Earlier today, we caught up with the president of the Rotary Club, who explained that its counterpart in Canada has stepped up big time to assist with furnishings for the playgrounds. The first completed playground is located on the St. Martin's de Porres Primary School grounds. Duane Moody has this report. Rotary Club of Belize has teamed up with Restore Belize on a three-year project to assist youths in Southside Belize City. With the assistance of Rotarians from Canada, a playground was constructed on the compound at the St. Martin's de Porres Primary School. The inauguration was held today as the students for the first time got the opportunity to test out the merchandise. Uh, the playground project, there is a, a, a group of Rotarians in Canada and what they do, they get these uh, playgrounds that are being refurbished in Canada. Um, a lot of time they upgrade these playgrounds and they will have the, the older ones that they take out. So what this, this group does, they refurbish the playgrounds and then they donate it along with the government of Canada to other countries. So they partner with us to bring these playgrounds to Belize. Rotary has some focus each year, and, or sometimes for several years they may have a certain focus. One of our focus is literacy, and the other is community development. And, and this project, putting it in a schoolyard, um, we include training for the kids because there are certain, um, the Canadian system, they have certain playground activities that help to develop the kids' minds, to develop their team spirit, things like that. The installation of the playground is part of a wider project to rejuvenate Southside Belize City. President of Rotary Club of Belize, Lin Young, says the entire project, which will also see the construction of libraries and literacy programs, will cost approximately $400,000 when completed. We are hoping to do at least four more playgrounds in Southside Belize City. The next um, location we are looking at is the Kamabach uh, field in the Abra area. And, uh, to bring it to Belize, you know, it, it involves some money to ship it. Uh, all of that comes out of the Rotary fund, fundraising efforts. You know, we do our fundraising efforts for Gift of Life and for projects like these. And so does the Rotary clubs in Canada. They do uh, fundraising to do projects like this. And when we put it together, we could do big projects. The project that we are talking about is a three-year project. To do this, along with libraries, along with computer-assisted, uh, computer computer-aided literacy, and uh, it's a lot of money involved. I think by the time we're finished, it'll be probably about $400,000 spent. But um, it's going to be all focused on Southside Belize based on the request from Restore Belize. The project also incorporated interact teenagers from both countries. They too assisted in the construction of the playground and today spoke of why it was important for them to participate. I felt it was important be to be a part of this. Is uh, I wanted to make a change in people's lives and this was a way of doing that. And with everyone being welcoming and supportive, they helped us a lot through the journey. It will make a difference in terms of the students, their it will make a change in their academics as well because, you know, like after school or during their spare time, they can just come and relax and enjoy the playground instead of turning towards mischief or, you know, um, those type of negative stuff. As a child, I didn't, at my time, primary school, Holy Redeemer, we didn't have any park and, or anything and I felt as if, if I could give these children a park, well, that would satisfy me. That would fill my emptiness. Um, I felt it was, this project is really important because it not only brings the students of the school together, but it rallies the whole community behind supporting the playground and maintaining it. So I think it's going to have a really positive impact on the entire community as a whole. Wait, for News 5.